Hey, hey, hey there, everybody. Zelda Savior here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we made our way through the Major League ranks, uh, maintaining our dominance over the field. And in this episode, we shall continue doing as such. But to be noted, before we continue, we went back and upgraded Champ, because he is a champ. And we, yes, we allowed him to learn a new ability. Mini Egg, and he also doubled his HP, which is very good, because he had 10 HP starting out, which is pretty low. So yeah, now Champ is even more awesome than he was before, making him probably the best party member we have, and will probably ever have in the game, in my personal opinion. Yeah, so next opponent will be, ranked 6 in the Glitzbit, the Shell Shockers! Won't avoid using any of them items, empty those pockets. Yes, real men, like I said, real men don't use items. Real men fight to the death with their bare hands and teeth and toenails and fingernails. Merciless execution of the Rick Gonzalez and the Turtles of Hurdle. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Shell Shockers! So called Rick Gonzalez. Don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. Get ourselves ready to battle! <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. All those battle noises hurt my throat. Anyway, um, yes, these Koopas are a little more difficult. They have a little more HP and more attack. But one thing to note about them is when you flip them over on their backs, they become more dangerous. Yes, they have an attack that does more damage and can hit both partners. We actually have a couple things to notice. Um, with our new hammer, we get the ability Super Hammer. Um, I'll show that off in a better fight. This is not a very good fight to demonstrate the ability. Um, so we will just continue doing what we normally would. Anyway, let us knock this Koopa Paratroopa down to size a little bit. Anyway, um, let's use Mini Egg, yes. When the lights light up, simply just tap A. It's a pretty easy attack. And Yoshi throws eggs at the enemies and lowers their attack points, and, uh, attack power, and it does damage. It does do damage. But yes, see how he did pretty hefty amount of damage to both of us. Ooh, lucky, very nice. But yes, it's good to note, take out the um, flipped over Koopas as quickly as possible. They can be pretty dangerous. Yes. I'm just gonna hit him with a gulp now to uh, further our damage. Very nice, very nice. Damn. There we go. Um, take out this guy next. Ooh, yeah. Nice. And Yoshi, um, yeah. Him with the ground pound. Yes, Yoshi does five damage, which is really, really, really good for a character at this point in the game. With his, like, basic non fp using attack, Yoshi does 5 damage, which is awesome. I believe Koops does 3 right now, Goombella does 4, and Yoshi does 5. <laughs> Sorry, Champ does 5. I'm not, still not used to that. Yes, and with that, we very easily wipe the floor with these guys. I apologize if these some of these fights are getting kind of uh, tedious to keep watching, you guys. Um, give me my money, bitch! Sorry, I had to do it. Um... But yeah, the it's just the this is the entirety of the level, the entirety of the sorry, entirety of the chapter. It's entirely these fights. So um, yeah, I mean, I just never really thought about it. But I guess I need for those of you who do not are not enjoying just watching fights over and over again, I do apologize, and I promise the other chapters are not as repetitious with fights. So yes, but there is the story behind it, which is the one I like. Anyway, on moving onward, moving onward. Hey, you Gonzalez, Jolene brought you a piece of cake from a fan. Yes, very interesting. We got a little nice piece of cake right here. Um, let's eat it. Man, it looks awesome. I'm drooling. Eat the cake? Heck yeah! I'm gonna eat that cake! Let's chow down! Very nice. We fully recovered. Yes, that cake replenishes all of your HP, both Mario and party members, FP, and star power. If we hadn't lost some, it would have recovered it. Well, more facts and fight. Your next opponent will be rank 5 in the Glitz Pit, the Magic Koopa Masters! Oh, once again, we can't use any flower points. That's going to make this fight difficult. Oh, yeah, that's not going to be fun. I'm not going to enjoy doing this. Anyway, but yes, um, off the top of my head, I know they all have different types of abilities, but I can't remember which one it is. I think the white one is the one that heals. That's all I really know, so I might try to take him out quickly. Yes, we fight our magic group for the first time. We can't use any FP. Awesome. Um... I can't show off Super Hammer because I can't use FP, so we'll do that another time. Anyway, um, like I said, I'm going to try to wipe out the white one first. 
as to make it so that, uh, at least I, th I think he's the one that heals. I don't remember, honestly. I'm taking him out because I think he is. If he doesn't, whatever. That's one less magic cube than there was before. Ah, action going in that attack is very awkward. Oh, damn. I hate this magic koopas. I hate fighting magic koopas. They're so annoying. Because all the little like things they do, like they cast spells on each other and make it so that you can't attack them and they have like more attack and they heal each other and crap like that. It's obnoxious, man. So obnoxious, bro. There we go. Okay. Um. Well, unfortunately, I cannot do anything to this guy, so I'm just going to defend. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? What? Oh, that, that's annoying. Anyway, um... Uh, I don't want to waste it, but I'm going to. It, it, I don't feel like wasting more time trying to find which one is the right one, so I'm just gonna... Like, I don't even need to, like, do it very well. I just need to, like, do it partially enough so that Yoshi can kill him next turn. Okay, this is getting annoying. And so yeah, okay, that's fine. That is that doesn't matter. Right? There we go. We found him. He's the one in the middle. Alrighty, now let's kick his ass. Kill him. Ram your butt into him. Butt powers activate. Yes, I only wish my butt powers were as powerful as Yoshi or Champ's butt powers. I only wish. I can only hope one day that my butt is as awesome as Champ's. We went. We, we got a winner. We are the winner. We are the winner. What? What? Mario! What? What the hell? What are you doing here? Oh god, it's Bowser, everyone. What on the street was that some mustache stupid in Quiltsville? And look at here. Talk about perfect timing. You want all these folks to watch me mortalize you. Yes, for no reason at all. There's no explanation as to how he got here. At least, I, at least I don't remember how he got here. Yes, and with that, we have to battle Bowser of all freaking people. Yes, he's not that hard at all. Um, so we're just gonna wear him down slowly but surely with our attacks. Um, we're gonna drop his, H or his attack with some mini egg. Yes, he, he has a point to the defense, which is the only thing he's really going for. This annoying is that he can do a little bit of damage. Anyway, let's. Show off our new super hammer a little bit. Yep. Our attack is now multiplied by two, so now we do four damage per swing. Oh, yeah. Yoshi can't do anything to him because he's got a point of defense. I am sorry about that. I forgot. Oh, yes. His bite. It poisons you. It poisons you with the toxins of death. Anyway, um, we are going to swing with our hammer of might again and crush Bowser. Yes. And we're going to swap out Champ for someone else who can actually damage him. Coops, come out here. I request your aid. Ow. And Bowser's back to his normal size self again. Anyway, let's keep wearing him down. Not really. I mean, he's not that hard of a boss at this point in the game. Like, yes, he has 30 HP, but he's really nothing that we can't handle, honestly. Like, he's really not intimidating at all. The worst of his attacks is the fact that his bite poisons, which, in my opinion, is the worst of all the abilities he has. And by worst, I mean most threatening. But it's still really nothing that we can't handle. <sighs> I wonder if the other bosses in the game are all going to be this easy. So far, all the bosses i fought so far have really not been difficult. I mean, maybe just because the bosses in this game aside from maybe the final boss, were never actually that hard for me. But I don't know. This playthrough's made me realize that this, these boss fights are actually, like, absurdly easy. Like, they really are not difficult at all. And there's the stage trying to kill us, but luckily for us, we are immune to stage. Yes, we actually have a badge of stage immunity, which would be a pretty hilarious badge to have, honestly. Mario's taken, actually taken quite a beating due to this poison. Like, that, like that poison is more of a threat to me, in my opinion, than anything else. And, I mean, we're going to win the fight, like, regardless of what happens, but just, I don't know. And with that, there goes the battle! And Bowser is dead, and... 
Oh, okay, I thought we leveled up for a second, but we're so close to leveling up. Maybe next episode, or maybe next fight. Not, not, not next, not next episode. I can totally speak. Tough, you say tough, son, and you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. And with that, pow, I'm gone. You should fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You receive 13 coins. Give me my money, bitch. That's right. My money. We slowly are getting more and more money from this bitch. Um, was that King Bowser? What was he doing here? That kind of freaks me out. Pfft, you're telling me, Coops. Anyway, let's get Champ back out here to kick some more ass, because he's pretty awesome. We're gonna, uh, no, we're gonna reserve our fight. We're going to reserve our match. All right, who are we going to slop around this time? Next one will be... Good split, ranked four, Crawl Daddy. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to keep that... Oh. Oh, champ can't attack. That makes me sad. Anyway, yes, partners cannot attack this round, I guess. I don't know. Huzzah, let us fight this Crawl Daddy. Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gates to the netherworld. Get yourselves ready to battle! Who does this chump think he is? He's trying to drag us to the netherworld. Yes, we cannot let our partner attack, so we must destroy him on ourselves, by ourselves. But that's very doable. We are just going to smack him around a bit and wipe the floor with him. Um, Yoshi, defend! Uh, oh, wow, that did a pretty hefty amount of damage. Anyway, um, yeah, this guy is pretty much the exact same attack pattern as Gus. The gatekeeper back in Rogueport. Um, but he just does a lot more damage. Oh, and how wonderful the stage works in our favor and attacks Crawl Daddy. Uh, he still hits us that time, though. Dang, okay. Um, well, anyway, we're going to wipe him up in two more turns. So it's all good. It's all good, dog. And as King K would say, Double G Man, we got this. Yoshi, continue to defend. Cower in fear. Yes, you missed, because you are a failure at life. You will give birth to children who will also become failures at life, and those children will become even greater failures than anyone could ever possibly imagined. And with that, we gotta level up! Yes, we have a level up, and with that, we are not going to mess with the order that I've been keeping. So we're going to go BP, which I've been desperately wanting to up. FP and BP are the two things I've been really wanting to up since level. <gasps> and Mario became a B-list star! Yes, that's awesome already. With that, our crowds get bigger and our stage gets bigger. Yes, we are now able to attract more fans to our audience. Equaling more star power replenishment and cooler looking stages. Oh, very, very awesome. Great way to end a fight. You want my money, bitch! That's right. That's right. You give me my money. That's right. Get out of here. Queen nag. No one likes you. Anyway. <gasps> another email! Sounds like another meal. M meal? I got some meal, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know where I was going with that. Go to the telephone booth outside the Pillivian. From X. Old X dude surfaced again. We gotta go out to the new phone booth now, huh? Yes, we do. Let's go to the phone booth. Oh, before we do that, though, I have been meaning to equip some a new badge with this already. Um... Huh. Okay. Um. Huh. Huh. Okay. Um. Ooh, this is a toughie, guys. This is a toughie. I have three. You know what? I can hold off on trying to equip the power part. Uh, the power. Power plus. Wait, where's the power plus badge? There we go. Yeah, it's. I. It costs six BP, and I really want to equip it. But in the meantime, I think we're just going to live with what our mamas gave us and wait until um next time. Alright, well, we're gonna equip power bounce in the meantime, because power bounce is just a great attack overall. And once we get well, once we upgrade BP again, we might uh, Oh! Look who it is! Gonzalez! Good timing, you pudgy little punk! Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stalling the spotlight for stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash. You value your puny life. Ha ha ha! And how I long the day where we are able to kick that guy's ass. He deserves it. Yes, Champ's thinking that maybe he sent us that hate mail earlier on about us snooping around in other people's business. We will see. We don't know. With that, we got a storage key. Very nice. Oh, and another email. Go to the storage room next to Grandpa's office from X. 
What the heck is this guy's like, problem? The storage room? I mean, does he think we need to exercise this dude? He's really cheesing me off. Yes, champ, he's cheesing me off too. But we will learn to be more cheesed off in the next episode. Because I have to cut here, guys. Alrighty. In the next episode of Looks Like Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, we will go check out what is hidden in the storage room and learn maybe a little bit more about who this X character is. Alrighty, guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, subscribe, like, leave some comments, tell me what you're liking, tell me what you're not liking. And with that, I will see y'all in the next episode.